Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Boss Wave, and I am back. I am back from vacation. I know it was said it was like a week or so, but I came back early, so uh, here I am making more videos for you guys. <laughs> but uh, this won't last very long because I'm in like nine days or so. I'm leaving for college, so there's going to be a couple days where I'm not really making any videos, and my schedule is possibly going to change. Like I know my schedule right now is I make videos during the week and kind of upload them when I can, but uh, it might flip-flop because you know I work on weekends right now. But uh, pretty soon, my weekends, I'll be free, and then I'll be, like, full-time college student during the week. So uh, that's pretty much, like, the only changes you guys can expect. But uh, basically, there's going to be a small time period, maybe two or three days or so, where I won't be uploading any videos because I'll be packing and getting ready for college. Because I leave August 15th, but I'll probably get everything together a couple days before that. So that way, I don't have to, like, rush to get packed up and everything like that. But anyway, let's get on with the actual video. So today, I'm going to give you guys a Claptastic Voyage weapon guide for the Miniax Ottoman. And uh, basically this gun is a unique Malawan uh, laser, and uh, it's pretty unique, and I'm going to say why here in a second after I go over the stats. Uh, the damage on it is 14,898, the accuracy is 94.7, fire rate is 3.7, reload speed is 2.1, and the magazine size is 30. The red flare text there says, I'm not always that dangerously homicidal, and uh, basically what that means is that it consumes ammo, 2 ammo per shot, uh, has a higher damage output in exchange for a lower rate of fire, and then also has each shot fired is a randomly selected element, so it could be either corrosive, incendiary, or shock. So basically this thing has like every single element built into it. And you think it would make this gun really, really good, but honestly guys, the only class that really benefits from this gun would be Wilhelm. Because really he is just all based on laser damage and really um, it's kind of random what element you get. So if you're fighting against a corrosive enemy or like a, corros a corrosive resistant enemy and you get corrosive you're not going to be doing as much damage as you would if you were doing like fire damage all the time so this gun's pretty random and spontaneous which is kind of cool that you know it can do all those elements but really this gun isn't that great in my opinion I don't really care for it but uh, basically how you get this gun is you want to go and head towards uh, uh, you know the cluster Pandora basically in the Cloud Tastic Village DLC it looks like Firestone basically uh, you want to go there and then uh, you, make, you gotta make sure you have the uh, main story done because if you don't have the main story done, he's not gonna spawn for you. But uh, you want to go to uh, Minyak. He's gonna be there. You're, you can't really miss him because he's fucking huge. But anyway, uh, you just want to pick up his quest. It's called Rose Tinting. And once you complete that quest, he's gonna have you do a couple things, uh, kill some enemies. Um, but after you complete all of that, he gives you this laser as the mission reward, which is pretty cool. So it's not that hard to get it all. If you want to use this on Wilhelm, you can. And that's pretty much it, guys. But I'm gonna let the gameplay roll out here, and let me know what you guys think about this laser laser down in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Borderlands content, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace, guys.